Welcome to Quick Finance, Jacob. Today, will we see Bitcoin hit $30,000? Maybe. As we can see, it's hovering above 29000 right now. The past day or so, it's been peaked below 29000 for a bit. Around 11 o'clock today, 1040. But we're seeing... That's definitely hovering between 29 and 30,000. Will it break through? We'll find out. I'm convinced that Bitcoin will break 30,000 in the next week or so. This is too much going for Bitcoin at this moment. Look at the weak trend line. It's still going up, 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 up. It's saying with that 20 moving average as well. It's saying above the 200 moving average. Past month. Definitely goes up, consolidates up, consolidates, goes up. We see a bit of consolidation here going on. So definitely, if you go off of you know this as a indicator, we can definitely assume it would go up past thirty thousand soon. If it's more of a consolidation like we saw here, it's gonna be several more days before it goes up thirty thousand. But definitely looking at Bitcoin hitting thirty thousand, uh, I'm gonna assume. By the end of next week. But let's look at NNDM. Definitely, you know, still up past three months. Past week or so, jumped up. It's been roughly uh, stagnant the past day or two. Consolidated a little bit. But we know ARK Investments uh, last week doubled their NNDM supply. They bought a lot of NNDM stock. Uh, so we'll uh, see if their investment pays off. It probably will, but we'll keep an eye on NNDM. And then SNDL, we talked about this on our last Sunday uh, live stream with Andrew Hutchinson. And definitely the election's the 6th of January. And I'm not convinced that the Democrats will win both seats. If they win both seats, there's definitely that's a huge indicator or callous for the stock going up and up in uh, price. I don't necessarily see that happening, but if they do win both seats, I definitely see the stock going up to past the 50 cent mark. So we see even previous jumps. There's a huge jump here around the election, went up from 17 cents to 45, consolidated around 25, then it shot back up 72 cents. 80 cents consolidated, consolidated. Is this waiting for another callus? Here was the election. Then here was more when the election was more solidified in terms of the results. So definitely the thing for a callus right there. However, Happy New Year. But before I leave, I got one more thing. The mind in the stock market. This is a book I bought a few years ago. We'll go over this more in detail this coming uh, few months. But uh, Mr. Archer is a definitely accomplished individual. He's an author. He was a financial advisor. He has a lot of great advice to give to people who are just starting in the stock market. So just to uh, summarize this live stream, Bitcoin, I think it's going to hit 30000 by the end of next week. We'll find out. NNDM, ARK Investments bought a lot of NNDM this past week. Uh, they're buying a lot. It seems like, I don't know, it seems like every week or every other week they buy more, but they bought a huge amount last week. So we'll see if their investment pays off. Over well, the past few months has definitely been paying off for them. Uh, SNDL, if Democrats win both seats in Georgia the 6th, we'll definitely, I think, see this go up in value. Target breaking 50 cent, maybe 60 cent mark, at least, probably more, based off of these two catalysts right here. Last but not least, going into the future this year, we will talk about the mind and the stock market. Anyway, Happy New Year. Thank you for listening. We'll see you next time. Thank you.